development of intensity duration frequency curves for precipitation in North Loch Imper, Assam. Abstract and intensity duration frequency, IDF, curves is the graphical representation of the probability that a given average rainfall intensity will occur in a particular region for a given duration of storm having desired frequency of occurrence. The intensity of rainfall is the rate of precipitation, i.e., depth of precipitation per unit time. This can be either instantaneous intensity or average intensity over the duration of rainfall. Here, in this project we have considered average intensity of rainfall. The intensity duration frequency, IDF, relationship of rainfall amounts is considered as one of the most commonly used tools in water resource engineering for planning, design, and operation of water resources project, or for various engineering projects against design floods. The objective of this research is to derive IDF relationship of rainfall for watershed of North Loch Imper, Assam. These relationships are useful in design of urban drainage works, for example storm sewer, culverts, and other hydraulic structure. In this study, rainfall depth for 11 years viz. 2006-2016 has been collected from the Regional Meteorological Center, Guwahati. Gumbel S frequency analysis technique has been used to calculate the return periods for a period of 2 YRS, 5 YRS, 10 YRS, 50 YRS, and 100 YRS from the maximum intensity. Finally, regression analysis has been to develop the intensity duration frequency, IDF, curve. Keywords, IDF, return period, regression analysis, North Lock Imper. 1. Introduction In many parts of the world, flooding is probably the most severe hazard among the natural hazards occurring due to change in rainfall pattern. Development of rainfall intensity duration frequency, IDF, Relationship is a primary basic input for the design of the storm water drainage system for cities. Intensity duration frequency, IDF, relationship of rainfall amounts is one of the most commonly used tools in water resources engineering for planning, design, and operation of water resources projects. Rainfall intensity duration frequency IDF curves are graphical representations of the amount of water that falls within a given period of time in catchment areas. IDF curves are used to aid the engineers while designing urban drainage works. A design flood is the flood magnitude selected for the use as a criterion in designing flood control works. The objective of the rainfall IDF curves is to estimate the maximum intensity of rainfall for any duration and return period. This frequency analysis uses annual or seasonal maximum intensity of rainfall for any duration and return period. This frequency analysis uses annual or seasonal maximum series, or independent values above a high threshold selected for different durations. IDF analysis takes into account the different durations in a single study, and prevents curves intersecting. 2. Study Area Lok Impur is an administrative district in the state of Assam in India. It is situated at 27 degree 1360 N and 94 degree 70 E. The district headquarters are located at North Lok Imper. The district is bounded on the north by Shang and Papumpar district of Arunachal and on the east by Dimaji district and Subban Sirai River. Majulai subdivision of Horhat district stands on the southern side and Gopur subdivision of Sanadpur district is on the west. The Brahmaputra is navigable for steamers in all seasons as far as Debrugger, in the rainy season as far as Sadia, its navigable tributaries within the district are the Subansirai, Ranjanati, and Dikrang. Lok Impur's climate is classified as warm and temperate. The summers here have a good deal of rainfall, while the winters have very little. In Lok Impur, the average annual temperature is 25.0 degrees Celsius. The rainfall here averages 1,200 mm. 3. Methodology The classical approach for building IDF curves has three steps. In the first step, a probability distribution function is fitted to each duration sample. In a second step, the quantities of several return periods T are calculated using the estimated distribution function from STEP1. Lastly, 
the parameters of the IDF equations and coefficient of different return periods are calculated by using nonlinear multiple regression method. The results obtained showed that in all the cases the correlation coefficient is very high indicating the goodness of fit of the formulae to estimate IDF curves in the region of interest. 3.1 Intensity Duration Analysis It is observed that the most intense storms last for every short durations. As the duration of storm increases, the maximum average intensity of storm decreases. If the observed maximum rainfall intensities at a place for various durations such as 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 1 HR, 3 HR, 5 HR, 7 HR, etc. are plotted against respective durations, a graph known as intensity duration graph is obtained. 3.1.1 Empirical IDF Equations the IDF formulae are the empirical equations representing a relationship among maximum rainfall intensity, as dependent variable, and other parameters of interest such as rainfall duration and frequency, as independent variable. There are several commonly used functions found in the literature of hydrology applications, four basic forms of equations used to describe the rainfall intensity duration relationship are summarized as follows. Where I is the rainfall intensity, mm slash hr, d is the duration, minutes, a, b and c are the constant parameters related to the meteorological conditions. These empirical equations show rainfall intensity decreases with rainfall duration for a given return period. All functions have been widely used for hydrology practical applications. 3.1.2 Calculation of Recurrence Period by Gumbel S Method the extreme value distribution was introduced by Gumbel and is commonly known as Gumbel S distribution. The estimate of rainfall intensity of given duration for different return period is obtained by this method. It is one of the most widely used probability distribution functions for extreme values in hydrologic and meteorological studies for protection of flood peaks, maximum rainfalls, maximum wind speeds, etc. It was confirmed that the Gumbel distribution well describes the variation of annual series of maximum rainfall intensity. According to this theory of extreme events, the probability of occurrence of an event equal to or larger than a value of XO is 3.1.3 Intensity Duration Frequency Analysis Every storm in a year is analyzed to find the maximum intensities for various duration. Thus each storm gives one value of maximum intensity for duration. The largest of all such values is taken to be the maximum intensity in that year for that duration. Likewise the annual maximum intensity is obtained for all the duration. Similar analysis yields the annual maximum intensities for various durations in different years. It will then be observed that the annual maximum intensity for any given duration is not the same every year but varies from year to year. In other words it behaves as a random variable. 3.1.4 Regression Analysis Regression analysis tries find out the average relationship between the variables. It refers to the methods by which estimates are made of the values of one variable from the knowledge of the values of one or more other variables. In regression analysis however one variable is taken as the dependent variable and the other taken as the independent variables, thus making it possible to study the cause and effect relationship. However, the maximum intensity varies inversely with the duration and generally an equation of 5. Conclusion This study had been conducted for the formulation and construction of IDF curves using rainfall data for the year 2006 to 2016 for North La Kimper area, Assam. The rainfall intensity is found to be non-uniform throughout the area. The actual method to construct IDF curves involves three main steps. The first step is to obtain the annual maximum intensity for each interval length. Then for each time interval, a statistical analysis has to be done to compute the Schwantiles for different return periods. In the third step, the IDF curves are usually determined by fitting a specified parametric equation for each return period to the Schwantiles estimates, using regression techniques. Using this method the same can be found out for other cities as well as by collecting the rainfall data for the respective day. From this study, the following conclusions are made. 
the gradual exponential decrease of IDF curves for different return periods reveal that the conclusion of maximum intensity for all the years is satisfactory. The value of a for which the sum of the squared deviation is minimum is found out and when the corresponding value of C and B for the maximum squared deviation of A is put in the equation, 3.14, and is back calculated, the values of intensity for the corresponding time interval is found out to be approximately same. The values of A, B and C are found to be 34, 0 0.97 and 12.133 respectively. Acknowledgement at the very outset, we are pleased and highly honored to express our sincere and heartfelt gratitude to Mr. Priyanjit Perkastha, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Royal School of Engineering and Technology, Bhutkukhi, Gilwahadi 35, for his constant guidance, support, inspiration and full cooperation throughout the project work.